Ralph found a map that once belonged to his great, great, great grandfather, Mariner Mouse. Mariner Mouse had written on the map, three miles west of Primrose Island is where the treasure ship sank. An X marked the spot. I know what we'll do, Mickey exclaimed to his friend Donald Duck. We'll build a deep sea diving ship and recover the treasure. But don't tell a soul or someone else will get it. Donald promised to be careful. And so, in an old factory, they began to build the ship. They worked and worked. And now, the ship was ready. But the night before their adventure was to start, Donald ran into his friend Goofy as he left the factory. Are you coming to my birthday party tomorrow? Goofy asked. Sorry, said Donald. I'll be diving for treasure. Donald didn't notice a tough-looking fellow named Bad Bart leaning against a wall. But Bart perked up at Donald's words. They must be building a diving ship in there, he murmured. Treasure, eh? In that case, they're gonna have company. That night, in the light of the moon, Bad Bart jimmied the lock, stole inside, and concealed himself in the ship's gear. Hidden in his pocket was a revolver. Next day, after they brought the diving ship to the ocean in a big truck, Mickey and Donald climbed aboard and steered to a spot two miles west of Primrose Island. Then, down, down, down they dove, clear to the bottom of the sea. Looking out the big observation window, Mickey suddenly exclaimed, There's a sunken treasure ship ahead, and the treasure is all ours, cried Donald. Oh, yes, said a strange voice, all whose? Mickey whirled. There behind them, revolver in hand, stood Bad Bart. Now, you fellows get into your diving suits, he said, and bring the treasure aboard. Then, get out. Get out, quivered Donald. But we'll... we'll be lost. That's your tough luck, grinned Bad Bart. Get going. There was nothing to do but obey. Out through the hatch went Mickey and Donald, straight for the sunken treasure ship. Deep among its rotting timbers, they found an old sea chest. The treasure might be inside, said Mickey. Together they brought the chest back to the diving ship. Now, said Bad Bart, set it down and both of you get out. I'm closing the hatch. Terrified, Mickey and Donald turned to leave. There was nothing else they could do. But suddenly, the lid of the chest began to open, and out came a long black arm, then another, and another. Black Bart was so intent on getting rid of Mickey and Donald that he didn't see what was happening. In a moment, the arms of the octopus had completely pinned him. Quickly, Mickey grabbed the gun. Raise the ship, hurry, he called to Donald. When Donald and Mickey reached shore, all their friends were waiting for them. Bad Bart was still held fast in the arms of the octopus. Mickey called the police, who took Bart away, octopus and all. And after they left, Mickey and Donald had a closer look at the old sea chest. There, under a false bottom, they discovered Spanish doubloons and pieces of eight. Enough treasure to do them for the rest of their lives. The Monster's Three Wishes Once there lived a little monster in a kingdom far away, and a very strange thing happened as he brushed his teeth one day. As he squeezed his tube of toothpaste, deepest thunder shook the skies, and suddenly a genie stood before his very eyes. I'm the genie of the toothpaste, said the genie with a laugh. I've been trapped inside that toothpaste tube for three weeks and a half. You squeezed the tube and set me free, so here's what I'll do. I'll let you have three wishes, and I'll make them all come true. Oh, boy, exclaimed the monster. Wow, three wishes just for me. Oh, now let me think and then decide what first wish will be. Now, favorite thing is cookies, thought the monster with a grin. But first, me wish for something nice to keep cookies in. Me would like million cookies, but before me use that wish, genie, said the monster, you please bring me a dish. Will I ever, said the genie, for your wish is my command. And instantly a dish appeared right in the monster's hand. Hey, I did it, cried the genie. Wow, I haven't lost my touch. Uh, it's nice dish, said the monster. But it no hold very much. The monster thought of all the cookies that he'd soon get with his wish. And he knew a million cookies couldn't fit on one small dish. He would need something much bigger. So the monster said, Hey, genie. 
Me would like great big box. This plate much too teeny. You want a box, you got it, said the genie with a smirk. And instantly a box appeared. The monster cried, Nice work! But although the box was pretty big and could hold lots of stuff, could it hold a million cookies? It just wasn't big enough. So the monster called the genie and said, Boy, me in luck, since you give me what me wish for, how about great big truck? And right away the truck appeared before the monster's eyes. Terrific! Cried the monster. It's just a perfect size. It hold a million cookies, and me never have to worry, and that's what me wish for. Give me cookies now, please, hurry! I am sorry, said the genie, for though cookies are delicious, I cannot give them to you, because you've used up your three wishes. <gasps> oh, no! exclaimed the monster. It true? Oh, me no can tell. Me good at eating things, but me no count so well. Let us count these things together, said the genie. And you'll see. The dish is one, the box is two, and then the truck makes three. <laughs> three things, you right, the monster said. Oh, now what me going to do? Me use up three wishes. Oh, and me so hungry, too. Gee, that's too bad, the genie said. But now my job's complete. Oh, me so hungry, said the monster. Oh, me need something to eat. Uh... I'm sad your wish for cookies can't come true, the genie said. That's okay, replied the monster. Me eat truck instead. Oh, boy, truck.